start with this because it seems like a crazy number. 25 million Instagram followers. Is there pressure in that? Do you feel like you have to post at that point? Yeah, I definitely do feel that, but I, I also give myself the liberty to just like not care that much. Good. I feel like I'm constantly like, <laughs> I probably shouldn't say it's this. It's like a whole separate job. I'm like, I like continuously lose followers every time I post. <laughs> so I feel like I'm, I'm like, all right, bye, I guess. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe it's better if I just don't remind them that they're following me. <laughs> and then <laughs> just under the radar. Yeah. You're, you're turning 30 soon. Are you excited about this? I'm really excited to turn 30. Yeah. I'm like. 30s are fun. That's what I hear. I just yeah. feel like your 30s, especially as a woman, it's like really when you come into yourself and you like stop caring about what other people think. Yeah. I, I feel like that's already coming for me. And you know, with Riverdale ending after seven years, I'm like, this feels like a really great time to be turning 30. It's like yeah. a new chapter. I'm excited for you. I love yeah. my 30s. That's fun. How do you celebrate? You go big or do you chill? Um, I like to have, I'm very social. I like to have like everyone gather for yeah. my birthday. Um, I really want to have a bounce house birthday for my 30s. I love you. <laughs> I want to just like get a big bounce house and invite everyone and have like, you know, a themed, like a kid's themed birthday. Maybe like, you know, yeah. some Disney character is like my cake or something. Have a petting zoo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like exactly. I will tell you during COVID, like it saved us. I ordered on, thank you, Amazon. I ordered a bounce house because my, my kids were going nuts and like we were just doing homeschooling and all that stuff with COVID. Like, get these the guys bounce, house bounce house saved us. <laughs> yeah. So I applaud a bounce house move. You were just on the bounce house yeah, every day. Yeah, go get that energy out. It was for you, get Kelly. Get out of the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, the new movie, it's called Upgraded. You yeah. seem very cute and very sarcastic and funny in it. Thank Do you, you. like this? Is it a rom-com? It's a rom-com. Yeah. yeah. I love that. They I don't make those enough anymore. I know. Yeah. I feel like there's there's a new wave of rom-coms coming that I'm really excited about. I am very about. for this yeah. movement. Yeah. Do you like did you like doing the film? Did you know right off the bat you were going to be excited about the script? Yeah. I mean, it's like it's it I don't want to say it's Devil Wars Prada-esque because I feel like then people have those expectations and that's an iconic movie. Yeah. But it does feel like a version of it that exists in the art world, and I think yeah. that really appealed to me, you know, playing <laughs> an up and coming assistant. There's Marissa Tomei shaving her legs. I love which her. Which was her choice, by the way. She just of course. decided that and I was like, that's brilliant. Oh my God, so who is your character? Who do you play? I play um, Ana Santos, who's an intern for an art auctioning house in mm -hmm. New York called Irwin's. Um, and she gets invited to go to London with her boss to be her assistant. And she meets Will on the plane, who we just saw in the clip. Um, and he mistakes her and thinks that she's claiming to be her boss. Um, and she just kind of goes along with the lie. Yeah, are you good at lying? Are you one of those people that's good? Well, you're an actor, so. I'm, yeah, but that's funny enough, I think question. actors are worse at lying sometimes. Or that's what you tell us. Because acting, <laughs> <laughs> acting is living truthfully, you know? Totally. Under imaginary circumstances. Yeah. I, I just don't know how to lie well. I start sweating. Yeah, no, Even I, if I, I say something to my friend, I'll be like, you know what, that wasn't true. Yeah. And I'll out myself. I feel the need yeah. to correct myself about things I really don't need to correct like myself Like I'm gonna go on. to hell or something. Like to yeah. the very T. Yeah. You know? I think that fear I'm like, just kidding, God. I didn't have an omelet for breakfast. I had a burrito. I, I'm it was so actually, sorry. Yeah, I was gonna get the omelet and then I decided, so that's yeah. why I said omelet. Yeah, that's totally And then you're just well. like vomiting details no one cares no about. No one cares about. <laughs> yep, that is me. As We're very similar. Yeah. Oh my God. What's like a, what's a project that you would love to do? Like what's something in the, in the acting world that you would love to do? I would love, have you seen Poor Things? No. What's that? I would love to work with Yorgos Lanthimos. Okay. Like he is a brilliant Poor director. Things. Like it's a masterpiece. I would love to be in like a really absurd, surreal movie like that. Oh, thank you for the tip too. I'm oh gonna go watch, watch it. that. Yeah. Emma Stone, she's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. oh yeah. I love her. Yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I haven't seen yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's it's awesome. really fun. Project it, put it out there. All right. Your ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> let's do another short commercial break, everybody. You can see Camila in Upgraded starting tomorrow on Prime Video. She's also in the Prime Video movie, Musica, which premieres April 4th.